tell me where a person's from and I'll tell you who they are. The identity and geography are really intimately related. Tell me what landscape you, you, you long for, what place you, you uh, dream about, I'll tell you who you're becoming is, is another you know, way to perhaps extend that. Um, I'm not sure that you can really separate people in place. Yeah, I think place is really important to me as an artist because, and it hasn't always been, but theologians talk about having two conversions, one from the world to God, and then one from God back to the world. And I think I'm, I'm in the process of my second conversion, living into that. And uh, part of that for me means not making plop art, not making objects that are placed on white boxes and white cubes that don't have real, real world contact that don't aim to be in the world and engaging what is. I think the best way to frame this project would be that it's a place-based installation in a warehouse that once was granary in Phoenix, Arizona. These materials are collected from place. That corn is from uh, you know, Arizona grain in Casa Grande. The water was actually in this warehouse for, for a long enough period of time that it leached. The desert durum wheat in the corner is from Arizona grain. The cornmeal from Arizona grain, the donkey from Maricopa County. And then the asphalt would have been literally excavated in the last week and a half. The steel rails came from 20 yards outside the building. So the materials tell the story of Arizona, the materials tell the story of Phoenix, and not a single story. I think there's multiple stories that happen in here. You know, I'm looking around this space right now and there's, there's gaps. There's boundaries and there's borders. And some of those gaps need to be filled, and some of those boundaries need to stay sharp, and some of those boundaries need to become porous. You have the, the model that the kingdom of heaven is, is something that's, that's out and above. You have the, the being whisked away model, and then you have the uh, restoration model. And I think I'm more persuaded by the restoration model. I think it's, it's pulling together that boundary, filling that gap between heaven and earth, desert and city, so that there's a transformation of what is rather than an escape from what is. It, it comes down to, you know, having to undergo that second conversion, the first from you know, the world to God. And that's an important part of the process, I'm sure. But that second one, from God back to the world, I think is just as equally important of a conversion to live into. I think if a rope ladder drops today, I'm not thinking about climbing up and out. I'm thinking about waiting for, for someone to enter in and to lock elbows and to uh, do good work.